That's right. We're going for three. Oh yeah. This is gonna be a good recording session tonight. Turner. Got some Oreos, got some Cheetos, and I am gonna get something to drink. So today we're gonna be drinking some purple, aka gray. But yeah, guys, this is really my four team. Welcome back to another episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! Let's play Yu-Gi-Oh! Duelists of the Roses. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna take a quick two minute break. And uh, get some snacks, I'll be right back. How you guys doing, man? Doing good. How are you? You good? I'm good, bro. I'm just sitting here in my, my front room, but to record some Yu Gi Oh! That easy, bro. That easy. Man, kinda. <clears throat> I need to clear the air a bit. Hang on. Woo! Hey, I'll be back. Aight! Just a little bit, hang on. How you guys doing? Today is July. What is today? It's funny, I actually recorded a little earlier today. I was trying to say the date, but I forgot. Oh, today's July 16th, 2019. I need some of this great Kool-Aid, man. Uh, sorry, a bit unprofessional, I know, but... Hey, we're going for three, man.
Microsoft. <laughs> Welcome back to Yu-Gi-Oh! Five minute intro. Let's play Yu-Gi-Oh! The Duelist of the Nurses. And we still need to rank up. So I'm going to show you guys the quickest way to rank up now. So we are at the deck. And it's going to charge. I'm going to set the four. So what you want to do, I'm going to turn you guys on the laptop feed around a bit. Should be good enough. Right? Yeah. Well, anyways, what you want to do is set the SP recharge rate to 4. Save. And here's how we're going to break up our deck leader. So let's get ready. And I like to break up our deck leader, finally. The map I like the most is actually this one. And this is pretty good. Like, you'll see why. You'll see. So. Anyways, well then, let us dance. Alright, did we get it? We got it. Okay, guys, so, first time we're getting this card, Maiden of the Opera. She is our beautiful, lovely deck leader, and we are going to summon her for the first time. And because we're going to summon her for the first time, I'm going to put the music on quiet really quickly. Increase the power of all your aqua monsters by 500. As I said, nature effects, some of the best. So, there she is. And there she is. 3,000 on water. That is OP. <laughs> Alright. What you got? Triple fusion? Nah. Simple fusion. Fusion, huh? How about this? Eat this, eat this, eat this. So that would be a ooh, ah, interesting. Eighteen hundred is the total power of the fusion. And what shall we play? Turtle raccoon is not bad actually. So let's have that let's be summoned. Let's move up. Let's move up, and let's end the turn. I should have moved up before I summoned, but it's okay. All right, back for the higher volume. How you guys doing? Today is a good day. I've recorded a total of six episodes today, and uh, up varying LPs is nice. Dude, this is going perfectly. Okay, so, as you guys may or may not have known, but I explained, basically when your deck leader is like this, okay, as a leader it gets a certain amount of points, but having two makes the points, experience points, so to speak, go up that much quicker. So, this is good. This is really good. Not to mention, also, since we have both up, our other cards, like Turtle Raccoon, will be a lot more powerful than the AI's cards. This is really going really, really good. If I could get the third main of the Aqua, I could basically make this the ranking tutorial video. But, uh, yeah. So, to start, we will summon simply Furious Sea King, because... I know I can beat this because it's only 1800, so yeah. Queen of Autumn Leaves is the name of the fusion. And let's watch this battle with high volume. Let's do it. Alright. Alright guys, back to me. Sorry. I'll let you see the battle. And then I'll switch back to me. Man, I 
I love Super Criminals. That thing has such an epic attack, man. Such an epic attack. Snake attack, man. I mean, right? I know it seems rude, but it's just like, dude, I gotta work in the morning, you know? I can't wait to snack until after I'm done. <laughs> I gotta snack now. Because the thing is, excuse me, and I'm gonna be up until this is finished up for so I gotta green and bear it sometime. Alright. We lost 200 life points, but you know what? Nothing of the world. Because we can summon Aqua Dragon right here on this square. And get some revenge. We can also summon Metal Dragon. And I think that's what I'll do this turn is uh, summon Metal Dragon here with Tamori and Mechanical Snow. Jim. Onto the Wasteland you go. That's definitely a good move. At this stage, gonna be able to hit the turn. Magnemite's new evolution, Magna Dragon. So that's actually four. So Fiend Kraken just went from 1,200 to 3,200. That's insane. This game's insane. It really is. And it's really easy to get really powerful if you just, you know, get copies of your cards going like this. The only problem is, is as you see, this deck, well, this deck has one flaw. I will give it that. And that is, it's a little low on fusions. Just a little bit. I'll get it there, though. And if you think about it, the main of the Aqua strategy, right? It's a good strategy, but you don't really want to fuse your maiden with any card. And by playing it as a single card, you're only drawing one card each turn. So if there is a flaw in this strategy, and there are several, but if there is a flaw, that's a big one. The other flaw is that for this to work, these have to stay in the fix mode. So if your opponent starts the game first turn, right, they have like a trap card that won't allow you to play cards in the fix mode. That's a big problem, and yes, traps like that do exist, so, yeah, <coughs> could be problematic. Now, as I was saying about the ranking, it's good for them to be on the field as many times as possible, but the other way to rank is to basically run out all the turns this is what I'm going to do. And I'm going to basically cut this video into two parts. So, run out all the turns. And, or, have your final Aqua Maiden, the third one, have it just kill monsters over and over. Which, hopefully I'll draw the third one and... Mm, and be able to do that. But, I don't know, we'll see. 
I'm hoping actually that the AI plays Cheers of the Mermaid soon, because I don't want our final Aquamaiden to run into that, and I didn't draw it, so, but yeah, that would be bad. the game plan to you guys. So I'm going to let Turtle Raccoon leak out here, then I'm going to move Metal Dragon back in here, and eventually I'm going to snake Metal Dragon way over here. Actually, I kind of want Metal Dragon to snake right now. Okay, so we'll move here, move this to... Um, should I waste the card? No. Yeah, it's confusions. And I will now turn the battles to abbreviate, because we want to obviously speed this up if we're gonna do, run out the turn count. So, as I said before, never ran out the turn count before, so wish me luck, you know. Hopefully I'm doing the right thing, but I'm pretty sure I'm doing the right thing. But, uh, yeah. is the predecessor to this game had a winning division called it was called s tech and the way you would s tech is basically the same way we're going to try to win here excuse me i have to check a drink of uh, uh purple but uh <laughs> by purple i mean purple kool-aid but, uh, oh yeah, switch to abbreviate, Josh, good. Okay. And what s is, is that it would basically, you would have to make your opponent play all the cards in the deck, and then, like, I don't know, it was weird. You would have to not only do that, but you would also have to, like, not die. Which, I don't know, I guess I'm making it hard to sound weirder, but believe me, it's harder than it sounds. Especially in that game. That game is just, you know... Some games are just really, you know, I don't know, they're just really challenging in that regard. So now that she's not moving this, we're going to leave Fiend Kraken here, and we're going to start snaking Metal Dragon. There we go. Alright guys, and this is going to be going pretty quickly, so... Yeah, she, I, we're going to let her fill the rest of her summoning zones, and then, um, yeah, we should have her. We should have this, honestly. Um, the only thing that will slow us down will be Tears of the Mermaid, and even that, at this stage, is not really going to, you know, ruin my day, so to speak. So, yeah, um, I think I'll do, like, one more turn to see if she does anything different or cool. But I'll do like one or two more turns, and then we're basically going to start skipping uh, time lapses. So basically, I'm going to pause the video, and I'll start it once I move Metal Dragon like around here, because she'll probably change her strategy a bit. But um, yeah, so uh, yeah, move right there, move close, and yeah, we're going to keep being cracking into this. Alright guys, so I am going to hit stop right here. Uh, the live feed will continue to be here on the laptop, so uh, yeah, I will see you guys in a bit. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching.